This is from Arena's video review of the Nokia 6300 phone. This is Nokia's slimmest device with only half an inch thickness, but it's also a very solid one. It's mainly made of stainless steel with nice touches of black glossy plastic on the front and back, which makes it feel and look very stylish. The display is a very bright 2 inch QVGA with 16 million colors, a small keyboard below it. The numeric and soft keys are very easy to press with strong tactile response. The only ones we have problems with are the volume rocker located on the right side, which is extremely hard to press and can barely felt. We are happy to see that Nokia has used 2.5mm stereo jack and mini USB instead of their pop-up port, but unfortunately the micro SD slot is below the battery cover, but still hot swappable. Situated on the left and right side are small LED lights which go in blue only after a few seconds while a message is being received, but will not blink after that. Also, they will not provide notification for missed calls or other events. On the back is the 2 megapixel camera, which acts slow, has mediocre but usable interface, and just average image quality when shooting outdoors and produced abysmal indoor images. Also, it lacks any kind of flash. The 6300 runs on Nokia Series 40 interface, and here we've chosen to have the active standby on. It shows a few shortcuts and information about the device. The main menu can be viewed as grid, list or tabs, and it's easy to navigate. Here you'll find all the standard things, like phone book for, with up to a thousand contacts with multiple numbers and the organizer. The letter is very standard, but has a nice calculator with extended functionality. One thing that greatly disappointed us is the web browser, which is only web and not real HTML one. The phone also features music player and FM radio, and the two can use common equalizer. The volume to the speaker is very high and very, with very good quality, typical for Nokia. The outgoing sound is also very loud and clear. The only drawback we notice is that the voices in both directions are a little monotone and not very realistic. The speakerphone option provided very good incoming and outgoing volume and quality as well. The continuous talk time is about 3.5 hours which is a little above the average, while the standby is considered very long and is 15 days, which is twice more than the average. The 6300 is similar to the 8800 in features and functionality, but with a lot lower price. Its target audience are people who do not need smartphone functionality of the E-Series, but want very elegant stainless steel device with small dimensions, solid body, and excellent display and feature set, but don't care so much about making a fashion statement.